I'm Philippa Sue. And I'm Adam Chandler Barat. And you're watching the Broadway.com show. <laughs> Welcome to the Broadway.com show, your weekly roundup of all the awesome theater scoop to keep you in the know. Or as we like to think of it, the people losing sleep over the best original song category on their office Oscar pool ballots. Lin-Manuel Miranda or Pascal Paul? Pascal Paul or Lin-Manuel Miranda? Do I have to choose? Let's get started with the news. What's the buzz, Beth? Michael Urey is set to star in a renamed and retooled revival of Harvey Firestein's landmark play, Tort Song Trilogy, Off-Broadway. Featuring a newly edited text, the 35th anniversary production will be directed by Moises Kaufman and will now simply be called Tort Song. Yuri is taking on the role of downtown drag queen Arnold Beckoff, who longs for love, commitment, and family, as well as respect from his mother. Firestein himself created and played the role on Broadway in 1982, winning Tony Awards for Best Play and Best Actor. Look for Tort Song to begin performances at Second Stage on September 18th. Get ready to welcome some fabulous stars to Broadway. Jay Harrison Gee will become the sixth actor to strap on the heels of Lola in the Tony-winning musical Kinky Boots at the Al Hirschfeld Theater. The newcomer, who's been playing the fabulous role on the show's national tour, will replace Todrick Call on March 6th. Meanwhile, a Chicago icon has booked another run at the Ambassador Theater. Two-time Tony Award nominee Charlotte Dumois is back as Roxy Hart, a role she's played countless times in the past, replacing Spice Girl Mel B on February 20th. Dumois has been seen on Broadway in shows like A Course Line, Jerome Robbins Broadway, Damn Yankees, Contact, Company, Sweet Charity, and Pippin, and is a razzle-dazzle Roxy. Trust me, if you've never seen her do the role, book your tickets now. We're currently dreaming of those summer nights at Central Park's Delacorte Theatre, to be precise. The Public Theatre has announced two productions for this year's Shakespeare in the Park. Julius Caesar, helmed by the Public's artistic director, Oscar Eustace, is set to run May the 23rd through June the 18th. It's only the second time the ancient Rome set political tragedy will play the Delacorte. Wonder why they picked now? Leo de Bessonet will then take charge of A Midsummer Night's Dream, which is scheduled to run July the 11th through August the 13th. Casting for both productions will be announced later. Oscar nominees Lin-Manuel Miranda, Sting, and Justin Timberlake will perform songs at the 89th Academy Awards Ceremony on February 26th, along with Grammy and Oscar winner John Legend. Moana star Auli'i Cravalho will join Miranda on stage to perform his Oscar-nominated song, How Far I'll Go, from Disney's animated hit. Miranda, who will be flying in from London, where he's filming Mary Poppins Returns, could become the youngest artist ever to complete the EGOT. Legend, who won an Oscar in 2015 for his song, Lori from the film Selma and stars in La La Land will perform both Audition, The Fools Who Dream, and City of Stars with lyrics by Dear Evan Hansen composers Benj Pasek and Justin Paul. Plus, Sting will perform The Empty Chair from the movie Jim, The James Foley Story, and Timberlake will perform Can't Stop the Feeling from the animated movie Trolls. We'll certainly be watching and rooting for our Broadway buddies. Get ready to roll in the hay, London. Mel Brooks's Young Frankenstein has announced dates for The West End. The musical comedy, which is based on Brooks's Oscar-nominated film and co-written with Tony winner Thomas Meehan, will open at the Garrick Theater on September 28th. Susan Stroman, who directed and choreographed the original 2007 Broadway production, is once again on board for this twisted retelling of the Mary Shelley classic. No word yet on casting, but Young Frankenstein will have a pre-West End run at Theatre Royal Newcastle from August 26th to September 9th. Hello, my name is Michael Potts, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. With Sunset Boulevard back on the boards, Andrew Lloyd Webber is making history all over again. The man behind the longest running show on Broadway ever, that would be Phantom of the Opera, and current Smash's School of Rock and Cats now boasts a total of four shows running at once, tying a record by Roger and Hammerstein. To celebrate the occasion, the stars of all of his musicals gathered with the Music Man at the Palace Theatre on Sunset's opening night for this historic hotshot by Nathan Johnson. Congrats to the great Lord Lloyd Webber. Yes, she's beautiful, and she's stunned at the Grammy Awards this weekend. Cynthia Erivo and the cast of the Tony-winning revival of The Color Purple took home the big prize for Best Musical Theatre Album on February the 12th. Erivo later broke audiences' hearts alongside John Legend with a rendition of the Beach Boys classic God Only Knows during the In Memoriam segment. For winning a Grammy to go along with your Tony, wowing that tough music crowd, and owning the red carpet with your style and grace, Cynthia Erivo, you are our star of the week. 
Thank you for watching the Broadway.com show. We leave you with a sneak peek of the new musical Amelie, starring Hamilton Tony nominee Philippa Sue and Adam Chandler Barat. See you next week. Safe